So we know how to um, address particular tags. For example, if we wanted to make our list items, let's make this an unordered list actually, unordered list and close unordered list. If we wanted to make these items um, all display as red, we know how to do that. Um, we just need to go in here and we do a selector for list item and we'd say color red right so if we save that you'll see it can refresh and we've turned all of this red but what if we only wanted to do say the first one red and the rest of them were fine as they were how do we select to look at the index how, how do we select just this list item because we can't really do it without saying just list item now there's some other ways to do it but for now we're gonna make sure that this list item is part of a class which is red. Now we're getting towards display here, but that's okay. Um, so we'll say that this is part of a class that we want to be red. Let's just for the heck of it also say that um, we want um, this line to be red as well. Um, see, these aren't elements, so that's not going to work as well, but what's, what we want this strong to be also displayed in red. Now we'll worry about that in a minute. For now, we're just going to look at that list item red. We'll save this. How do we tell that over here now that we only want the red one to be um, uh, selected? We do dot red. So we can do the tag, then a dot, then the class, and then it will only deal with the class that we've named. So I'll refresh this. So now it's only doing that first one because that's the only one that's part of the class red. Again, here it is. It's the only one that has class red associated with it. If you look down here, we changed one of these. I forget which one it is right here. We changed this strong statement to also be part of the class red. But if you look at the CSS, we're just saying only do LIs of the class red. We could do, um, say, strongs of the class red. And instead, we could make them uh, color yellow. I don't know why we would do that, but and then if we refresh, you'll see that turned that one yellow. Um, more likely what we would do is say, we don't care whether it's uh, a, an LI of the class red or a strong of the class red and anything of the class red. Note that the dot still stays there, so we know it's a class. We want a color red. So if we do that, it does kind of what you would expect. And anything that was class red then appears as red text. Um, so you'll often see in CSS files lots of these class statements that just associate it with a class. You can do something similar with IDs, and I'll mention it offhand. We have what people say here for this whole thing. Um, so if we wanted to turn that all green, we could say what? people say color green. Note that instead of a dot for IDs, you use the hashtag, right? So I think what people say is what it was called, what people say, yep. So now if we refresh this, it turns all of it green, except for the pieces inside that remain red. And we'll talk more about that when we talk about inheritance later on. But you get the basic idea. You can now pick out individual parts of the page by using these class tags for the most part, and if you need to, the ID tags as well.